After a video came to light last night purportedly and allegedly showing slogans of Pakistan Zindabad being raised in the assembly premises after Congress's Nasser Hussain won the Rajya Sabha elections. The BJP went all guns blazing against the ruling Sidramaya government saying that these were Pakistan's Zindabad slogans. But there are many who maintain, including Congress leaders, who say that it's been misunderstood. These were actually Nasser Hussain Zindabad slogans which has been misinterpreted as Pakistan Zindabad. Uh, and they've claimed that all of this is a conspiracy. Having said that, there was a big war of words that played out in the assembly with the Congress assuring that there will be a detailed investigation. Celebrations by Congress leader Nasser Hussein's supporters after his win in Rajya Sabha elections in Karnataka have sparked a controversy. The BJP is alleged that Pakistan's Zindabad slogans were raised in the assembly by Hussein's supporters on Tuesday evening. The charge, first levelled by BJP leaders on social media, echoed in the assembly on Wednesday. Vidhan Sabha mein aakar ke Pakistan ke Jindabad kehta hai, usko aap samartan karta hai kya? The Sidramaya government has ordered an investigation into the allegations. See, we will send the voice report to the FSL. If report comes and it is true that somebody has uh, made a slogan that Pakistan Jindabad, such person will be punished seriously. Pakistan Jindabad and the Kardila, Karad Kardidre, what Vulikakta, police or Kanon Riti, Tate Kultare, Idikala, Okasha, the Rajkia, Tirslika, Marta, the BJP Ro, Soti Divi and Teddy, Sumna Yeno Tirsaidre, we have asked to investigate, investigate Manakadi Divi. The BJP did not buy the Congress claims. The party held protests at the Vidhan Sauda, chanting Bharat Mata Ki Jai. We demand that this government should be removed quickly. This is a slogan in the favor of Pakistan. Pakistan is a good thing. It means that it is a good thing. It is a good thing. It is a good thing. अंबेडकर का अपमान है इसलिए ये गवर्नमेंट को जल्द से जल्दी हटाना चाहिए कांग्रेस वाले कल पाकिस्तान जिंदान के बाद के जो घोषणा किया था सरकार गवर्नमेंट को वजह करना चाहिए और नासिर हुसैन को भी इमीडिएट रेजिग्नेशन देना चाहिए देयर वाज रॉकस इनसाइड द लेजिस्लेटिव काउंसिल टू एज अ वर्बल स्पैट बिटवीन बीजेपी एंड कांग्रेस लीडर्स थ्रेटेन टू गो आउट ऑफ हैंड विद एमएलसीज चार्जिंग एट ईच अदर the police have filed an FIR and an investigation is on. A forensic examination of the videos of celebrations by Nasser Hussein supporters has been conducted to ascertain exactly what happened. Bureau Report, India Today. Let's get your reaction coming in from the Karnataka BJP chief, P.Y. Vijendra, who's lashed out at the Sidramaya government, questioning why the person who chanted Pakistan Zindabad wasn't immediately arrested, saying they should have immediately been put in jail. Instead of punishing the culprit, according to Vijendra, BJP workers have been jailed for protesting. Vijendra has gone on to state that this government has brought in a Sixth Amendment or a guarantee, rather, of protecting traitors. Let's play out for you that reaction. From Vijayendra. This government देश द्रोहिकल ने हिड़े रहें तेरे दरे यारों देश द्रोहिकल विरुद्ध ने ने होराटा मर्द कंधा प्रयत्न मर्द बीजेपी कार्यकर्त्रो अवरुण ने हिड़े वड़ा वड़ा का कंधा कंधा कैसा कांग्रेस सरकार मारी दरे वैसा नान अनकुंडल की इतनी चुने दिन कड़े ले सरकार द नडवल के कड़ा ना नोड दरे इतने गारंटे जो � and let's bring in Anaga Keshav on this broadcast. She's joining us live from Bengaluru. Anaga, fierce war of words that were witnessed in the Karnataka Assembly over this issue. On one hand, you've got the Congress saying that these were slogans that were misheard by the BJP. And yet they've promised that action and an investigation will be taken up immediately. 
Well, that's right, Akshita. In fact, the leader of opposition from BJP, R. Ashok, has demanded even the arrest of Nazir Hussain, who was recently elected as the Rajya Sabha Member of Parliament. He says that because Nazir Hussain issued passes to his supporters, who then got the permission to enter inside Vidhan Sauda, he should resign and he should be arrested, is what R. Ashok said. Subsequently, even Priyank Kharge reacted on this matter, stating that it, it was indeed uh, Nasir Saab Hussain and not Pakistan Zindabad. And he said that this is proven in the forensic analysis. They're only merely waiting for the report to come out. Once it comes out, the matter will be sorted out, is what Priyank Kharge said. Well, as of now, the FSL report is still not yet out. However, Home Minister Dr. G. Parameshwar broke, you know, broke his silence on this matter in the assembly today. He stated that more than 25 people were given passes to enter the to you know to enter the assembly uh, that pass was issued by Nazir Hussain and uh, Parameshwar even condemned their entry saying that they should have not been allowed the police should have been more alert and more stringent in their security actions he also went on to assure that if indeed it is proven in the FSL analysis that it was Pakistan okay. Zindabad then not even for a second will the culprit be sprayed they will be uh, uh, taken strict action okay. against is what the Home Minister assured. So was it, was it Pakistan Zindabad or was it Nasir Saab Zindabad? Well, the jury's still out on that one. Hopefully with the forensic report, we will get some clarity on exactly what was the slogan that was chanted and thereby an end to this political controversy. Thanks very much, Anaga, for joining us with all of those details.